It's the 3rd of July. I'm heading back into the UC Davis Performance Lab to get retested. I've been on the sports science program that Judd laid out for me in training and in diet for the last four months. So we're gonna go in, get tested, and see how I've progressed. I'm about 30 days away from going on my sheep hunt, so this will be a good, good time to evaluate where I am and then for Judd to make any final adjustments on the next month of training going into my sheep hunt. So it'll be interesting to get the results. Hey. Judd, welcome back. It's good to be back. It's been a while. Can't wait to see what the results are. See some good changes here. Yeah. How you been feeling? Really good. You know, to trust the science behind the training, I just really cut back on what I was doing. It's been amazing, especially over like the last month, to increase the amount of cardio, and the, um, the, the length of cardio, mm -hmm. the amount of weight in my pack, and watch every week just make steady improvements. And then the diet, man, it's changed whole, my whole perspective on carbs, <laughs> on fat, and endurance. Well, let's get you ready. Yeah. Get you on. Basically, going to repeat the test that you did last time and just really get a good handle on how your metabolic efficiency has shifted. Number one is the the crossover point, the metabolic efficiency yes. point, where you're 50% fat, 50% carbohydrate, okay. and shifting that on the graph as far to the right as we can. We can. Yep. Basically, saying that you're able to burn more and more fat at a higher intensity. <laughs> part two, and I think this is the part that actually gets overlooked a lot, is looking more into the lower intensities, and is does the graph actually diverge. How long do you need me on there for, do you think? Uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. All right, now the fun begins. So we, we've modified it a little bit from the initial test. One, because now we have a much better idea of what his uh, ranges are. And two, because I'm assuming he's in a little bit better shape. So we won't have to have him on there for quite as long. So we're gonna start him at about five miles an hour, 1% uh, grade, every four minutes. We're gonna raise that up by about 0.6 miles an hour. The idea is that the test will be about 30 minutes in length. We're gonna look for um, aerobic threshold. We're gonna look for his metabolic efficiency point where he's half carbohydrate, half fat, and then our second ventilatory and or lactate threshold as well. Yeah, pop off. All right, onward. You got another one? No? Okay. Nope. <laughs> Alright. My legs. His head. No, thank you. Alright, go ahead and walk a little bit just yeah. to cool down. Cool down. Yeah, so when we started on intervals, it was 30 seconds max, then four and a half minutes rest, so full recovery, max again. The first time I did four I was done. Like one to throw up. Um, and I was in shape when I did it, so. And now we've progressed. It's a different type of interval training than I've ever done before. It's, and it's, I can feel the improvements today. I was deep and I was at 181 and had a lot more left to go to VO2 max. Amazing. Science stuff might work. I'm really curious to see at low intensities, because we only collected running intensities, uh, how good he is at burning fat. And it's a data point that we miss when we do just the running test. First, the bad news. All of the, uh, the training you've done uh, to make yourself better carrying a pack uphill and the high intensity work did not make you a better runner. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Going into the first test, yeah. I mean, I was in really top 
running shape. Exactly. And I haven't ran in months now. <laughs> so that's what we'd expect. Yep. So first thing on here, so especially as we get into the higher running speeds on your, on your lactate test here, we see that you're actually generating more lactate per speed. Which means I'm more fit than what I was. From a base, from a base standpoint, standpoint, sure. Yeah. Last time, your crossover happened at 4.8 miles an hour. That's where you're 50% carbohydrate, 50% fat. This time, it happened at 5.8 miles an hour, so a mile an hour faster, 20 beats a minute higher. Wow, that's heart rate. significant. So looking down here at fat max, so your maximum ability per minute to burn fat, you were at 0.8 grams per minute, and that's actually already pretty good. Was it? At four and a half miles an hour. Here you were hitting it at five miles an hour, but it was over a gram of fat per minute, which from a fat utilization standpoint is pretty darn good. And even though it's a, a little bit higher on speed, it's a lot higher, 13 beats higher wow. on, on heart rate. You're using a lot more fat at a much higher rate. That's awesome, rate. that was the goal. So this time, back here, it was you know, four miles an hour, but we see a trend here on your utilization, which is basically, it was tapped out at 60% fat and 40% carbohydrate. Here, when we went to the slow, slow speed, it wow. kept going up. So you were all the way up to over 80% of your fuel coming from fat, fat at a walking pace. A great example of what we call metabolic flexibility. So at a low intensity walking, you're doing a really good so job cool. of using fat to fuel Which is the activity. But especially with the type of training we're doing and the fact that you're still getting some carbohydrate in the system, mm -hmm your body's still able to go really high intensity and utilize carbohydrate to fuel that intensity. Which is why I don't want to be in a keto type diet, right? Exactly. I just can't wait to see where this progresses over the next year. For the specifics of what you're doing, the, the, the two week sheep hunt, where it's basically all low intensity, moderate intensity, it's worthwhile to think about, all right, maybe we do want to push it as far to the right as possible yeah. and make you as efficient as possible. I leave on August 8th, so what are we, 36 days away before yeah. I leave. What adjustments should I do in my training leading up to that? Well, it sounds like what you're doing is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think uh, keeping, keeping the hit mm -hmm. uh, like you're doing. I'm, a, I'm doing eight one minute intervals right now yeah. with a pack weight on the rolling staircase. It'd be worth playing around with uh, changing the type of interval a little bit. Okay. And uh, seeing if in this next Block. three weeks yeah. before we taper, maybe we add a little bit of the type of training you used to do. Okay. So one day a week of that, you know, 20, to 30, 20 to 30 minute hard, hard intervals. interval. With 30 seconds rest? Um, no, I would change your one minute intervals over to, and make it one day a week, okay. but make it three minute intervals. Okay. And do somewhere between four and six of them. Okay. How much rest? Uh, two to three minutes. Okay. So now we've gone from pure, high, high intensity yep. interval training to more of a, a traditional VO2 max okay. type training. Keep doing what you're doing with the long, steady mm -hmm. stuff. We've maxed out that. At I mean, a I can rate. restrict carbs. I'm in the you know, 15 to 20% carb range. Yeah, so that would be the next step. I could go, to, I could go deeper and, less, and lower yep. my carbs from yep. now and then. Exactly, so okay. for the, for the, until we test again, yep. lower the carbs okay. further. And then we'll come in and try to get in before, before I leave. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing day. Yeah, good stuff. It's exciting. Good, to good see. changes and yeah, you hope you see it. You wonder if you're, what the results are going to be, and yeah. then you actually see it working. It's like and it's it's what Chad might know what he's talking about. It's what we're looking for, which is that metabolic flexibility yeah. over metabolic efficiency. Well, I can tell you what the reality of it is I can um, notice a huge difference. And that's that's a big that's a big take home, right? Yep. Great. Excellent. Well, thanks for today. You are welcome. See you in a little bit. Sure will.